Well, let's jump straight into your daily tech news. And I'm super excited about the next invention, something that's got everyone talking the whole morning. Yeah, especially <laughs> me. So uh, here's a question for you. How many times do you drop your phone a day? Well, if the answer is enough times, then uh, you need to, of course, get a new phone every two months. Then you might want to take a listen to this because we might have the answer for you. So um, a German engineering student by the name of Philip Frenzel designed an airbag for smartphones. An airbag for smartphones, mm -hmm. I know. It's called, uh, what is it called here? It's called the ad case. And it's a special cover for your phone that contains a number of sensors that detects when the phone is falling. Now, as soon as this happens, the case deploys oh. spring-loaded spider-like legs that protect the phone when it hits the ground. When you pick the phone back up, you simply push the legs back into the case and it reloads. Along with another student in his class, Philip is starting a Kickstarter campaign next month to hopefully launch the product to the market. But at this point, it's still just a concept. But I'm here for it. Can it please not be a concept anymore? Because <laughs> my phone just has a desire to be fl face flat on the ground. Uh -huh. It uh, wants to be there. How many times have you replaced your screen already? Oh yeah, yeah, a lot. Too many times. I'm like master level of the Spider-Man app right now. <laughs> well, from yeah. mobile air bags to living in an age where robots are seriously taking more and more jobs as technology improves. Now they might be coming for Hollywood's action stars and Disney's Imagine Imagineering, Imagineering department. They have designed an autonomous stunt robot that is able to perform high-risk moves with human-like accuracy. Now traditionally at Disney World, robots used at various attractions have limited movements and are pre-programmed to do every small specific action. But with the increasing interest in superheroes and big action scenes, there's a demand for more active and dynamic attractions. And this is where the Stunotronics project steps in. The robots are being seen on screen right now is able to self-correct and make tiny adjustments in the air to ensure that it nails the move each time. It also has an onboard accelerometer and a gyroscope along with laser sensors that are able to measure its distance from the ground. And it can also do all of this while striking the perfect superhero pose. And I think the long-term goal is programming multiple of these robots to orchestrate epic live action stunts, scenes that are, you know, perfectly accurate every single time. I really think this is where technology is taking things to that next level. I think there's many a stunt man and stunt woman that's worked their whole lives, man, that is not looking forward to this day taking place. <laughs> They're just going to replace all of us, hey? All of us. I don't know. Well, that was your daily tech update. Hopefully, we, you're not left too morbid like we are feeling right now. <laughs> well, anyways, talking about being replaced, <laughs> let's just keep all of the technology to the world of gaming. Of course, that's very, very exciting. And this you actually need two humans for to play the game. Let's mm. check it out.